It's been a terrible summer for Denny Hamlin. Crashes, blown engines, broken parts. He's really had it. Laid down the challenge to his team. Said, get back in the game. They did. He's on the pole for Sunday's Atlanta 500. Says he's got the best car and race trim he's ever had. That says something. Guy won five races in the springtime, and then it was like somebody turned off the switch. Hasn't done much since that win at Michigan in June. The one that he twittered about, and the Twitter police got him, and $50,000 fine later, and really a funky sort of mood ever since. And now he says, our chase starts here. Now, the real chase doesn't start until we get to Loudon in a couple of weeks, and we still got to go to Richmond this next week. But he says, we're going to see what we've got. He's challenged his team. He says, so far this weekend, his team's delivered. Looks good. He's on the pole for Sunday's Atlanta 500. Kyle Busch's teammates right behind him. We ought to find out real quick just what those guys have. Kyle drives a bean race here. Then he ought to do pretty good. And we got Ryan Newman on the outside. Something strange going on over at the Newman Haas Stewart operation. Burger King just got bought out. And Burger King's with the sponsor for Tony. Maybe that's the reason they've been in such a funky mood lately. Tony and Ryan, and remember Ryan's little tirade up there at Michigan? Things might not be going quite that smoothly over there. We'll see. They both run very well here. We'll see what they can do in the 500. A lot of stories here. We were telling you we had a lot of work to do today. We do. Kyle Bush and Todd Bodine got into it Friday night up in Kentucky. In the truck race, Todd won. But he had to come from the back of the pack after he says he got spun out by Kyle. Todd got to victory lane, called Kyle Bush a dirty driver. Kyle was sitting in his motor coach and heard that on TV and went charging over to victory lane and confronted Todd on that. Pretty high drama. I like to see that sort of stuff. Fired up. Todd was in the race today. The field to qualify didn't make the field, so he won't be in the race to challenge Kyle. And Kyle starts third, has a good shot at winning. We'll see if Kyle can set another milestone. The guy's been winning everything. Truck races, nationwide races, cup races. Got his act together. But can he win the championship? Can crew chief Dave Rogers put together that magic? We were talking to Kevin Harvick about the chase. We're talking to a lot of guys about the chase. One of the problems right now is, what does the regular season really mean? Didn't mean much for Tony Stewart last year. He ran away with the regular season and then faded in the chase. Kevin Harvey's been dominant in the regular season so far, but he says, hey, I saw what happened to Tony last year. They're real good buddies. Just because you have a good regular season for the first 26 races, doesn't mean a thing in two weeks. Everybody's back to zero. Things start all over again. Jimmy Johnson, big question. Is he sandbagging? Is he playing the rope-a-dope? Is he trying secret tricks? Has he got everybody guessing? Sure does. He's not showing his cards either. He says, I just don't know why we're not as strong as we usually are. Well, he's usually not very strong in August anyway. The traditional August slump, and I think it's because they're preparing some new tricks for the chase. Once the chase starts, he's always in high gear. Running away with things. That's hanging over everybody's head right now. That's one reason Denny Hamlin says, our chase starts here. Atlanta. He wants to see what he's got wants to see what kind of reliability he's got. And he hopes that he can find out what those other guys have. Somehow I don't think they're going to show their hand. Maybe, maybe not. But right now it's looking like a Denny Hamlin show. Maybe Carl Edwards in there. Maybe Ryan Newman drives pretty good here. Maybe Tony Stewart. And we'll have to watch for the tires. We were talking to Jeff Gordon about the tires. We just got a new tweak on the tire here. Makes it a little hard to drive, Kyle's, uh, Carl Edwards says, but he says he likes it like that. You go in the corner, you got to pitch it sideways like a dirt track, and then wait until it takes hold and then barrel off the corners. That'll be fun after about four or five laps on new tires. Jeff Gordon says every time you get a chance to pit, you'll be pitting for new tires. 
because new tires are so much faster than old tires. He says, Carl Edwards says that even with six or eight laps left in the race, if caution comes out, he figures everybody's gonna stop for tires. That could really shake things up. Do you want two tires? Do you want no tires? Do you want four tires? Hey, might be a pretty good race. It'll be Sunday night. Mike Muller on Saturday, Atlanta Motor Speedway. Danny Hamlin's on the pole, Kyle Busch is third, and Ryan Newman's on the outside. Let's we'll see what happens. Mike Mullen for MikeMullen.net.